我叫刘千平，是湖南省金陵区西二水。这一次呢，是河南电视台邀请我到北京来做电视节目的。Two months ago, Liu Qianping was a retired rice farmer settling into a life of leisure in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. Now he's one of China's biggest internet celebrities, doing the rounds of the country's television variety shows. And here's why. Thanks to an impromptu photo session for his granddaughter's online clothing store in November, Liu is now one of China's hottest fashion models, wowing the country with his willowy figure, his knack for the pose, and his willingness to wear just about anything. One of a growing number of elderly eccentrics in China, he's helped his granddaughter and her partners quadruple sales, while also lighting up Chinese social media sites. Well, you say he has a lot of clothes, I'm afraid he will get it out. 学学学学学也好的话，批下来，批下来他也学个九毛，缺点九毫钱，所以呢，他就把九下把我批下来的。一直在寻找一个适合我们的一个模特，但是一直没有找到合适的。呃，传了之后，第二天就有一些，包括一些网友啊，就转载，就疯狂的转载我们店铺的照片。然后接下来就是各大电视台啊、媒体对我们的一个进行采访。他就对这种时尚的东西很有一种新鲜感，他也敢于去尝试。我觉得这也是呃中国一个时代的进步吧，就是老年人也越来越开放了，包括他跳那个骑马舞啊。Liu has tapped into a craze in China called Lao Lai Qiao. The phrase refers to old people doing young-seeming things that even some young people wouldn't dare do. For Liu, who grew up during the lean years of China's great leap forward in the late 50s and early 60s, it's a matter of embracing the bounty of China's new wealth. Not everyone loves the idea of Liu's new modeling career. Confucian ideas about respecting elders still run deep in China, and some wonder if Liu's granddaughter is exploiting him. 如果我家里有老人，我肯定不会让他做这样的事儿。为什么？老小孩，老小孩，实际上老人年龄到一定程度的时候，他已经没有足够的自我控制能力，像孩子一样。But with China increasingly embracing the pursuit of individual happiness, most seem to be charmed by Liu's moment on the internet catwalk. Wow. 每天都在关注那个关于外公的一些微博嘛。没有任何就是反面的声音，全部都是说，哎呀，很好玩啊，这个外公太好玩了，这个老年人很可爱呀、啊。网友们我也感觉，在年轻些以后呢，我是觉得好齐全。呃，有些他们就像我外孙女啊，他们等于我把一个被骗下，就要好看，所以我在劝。So with all the fun he's having, does Liu plan to bring his wife in to model a few outfits as well? 他不行啊，他现在没有我个好。<笑><笑>